Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will learn a comparison between a compose rendering and view based component rendering. So in the left hand side, we have the compose states and in the right hand side, we have the view based state. So first one is we need to define a composable functions. Composable function will decide like how our UI will be look like. So whenever there is some change in the component then it is called a recomposition so recomposition happens whenever there is some change in the state so each component depends on a state so whenever the state got changed related component will be re-updated so in compose framework we don't have like view dot visible or view dot gone everything is managed with the help of state so whenever there is a state change the corresponding component will be updated so next one is the layout layout means arrangement of the Composable function in the screen. Let's say we defined a, a constraint like this view will be displayed on the top left This view will be displayed on the top right. It will come to center and other part This will be adjusted with the help of layout and last part is start drawing of the component So let's say whenever there are some change in the content Then it again go to layout and if there is change in the size or position then it will again do drawing so this one is the composed way and the view based approach we already aware first it will call its constructor then on measure will be called on measure will calculate the width height and other things so then it go to the layout part where we arrange the elements in the screens and start drawing so there are some other functions like when we call request layout so when, whenever we do request layout it again calls on measure on layout and draw and when we call invalidate it just simply call on draw so this is the basic uh, difference between a view based rendering and compose based rendering. So there is one more thing like the life cycle of the composable functions. So composable functions first enter the composition state and the compose will recompose the same functions multiple times. Let's say whenever the data got changed, then the, it, it again call the recomposition. So this is the basic life cycle of the composable functions. When the recomposition happens completes, then it leaves the composition block. Uh, now, next thing is how we think in a composed way. I hope you guys have used either data binding or MBBM. So I have created one project uh, where I have uh, using a data binding. Okay. So in this example, you can see uh, they, there we have a layout uh, where we have two text field and a button. And we have a view model. In the view model, we have one observable field and we have one live data. Okay, so whenever user perform a click on a button, then it triggered this function, and this function will change this live data as well as this observable field. Okay. Now, if you notice here in our binding, we have declared this field, and this field is attached to data one. So the first text view is using a observable field. So whenever this field got changed, UI will automatically refresh. And second approach is we are using a live data. So whenever this live data will be changed and we are observing to this live data and here we are holding the reference of second text view. So whenever this live data got changed, we are updating the content. Okay. So if you see here, I click on this button. Okay, so first value is changed and second value is changed. So compose is something similar, this data binding approach. Here we are having a data or we can say it as a state in compose. So whenever this state got changed, then the UI component will be changed. Okay, so from this you will get uh, some basic idea like how we will start with developing our app in the compose. So we don't need to hold a reference of any view. We will hold the reference of state. So whenever state got changed, the view component will all automatically get changed. So there is one more important thing, like how will data transfer between composable functions and how will events got triggered. So if you see these diagrams, the data will always go from top to bottom. So it means data will be hold at one place and it will be transferred to multiple composable functions. And second one is events will go from bottom to top. So what are events? Let's say whenever we click on a button, so we will have a click listener. Similar way, 
when there is change in the switch state on change listener or similar way there is some change in the edit text change so these are called events so event will always go from bottom to top so we will see this concept in details in the further videos okay so that much for this video in the next video we will learn about state how we can save the state in compose framework so stay tuned for further updates